I mean, I think so too. I mean, uh, you know, I have nothing against the fasting mimicking diet as in, I think he's done a lot of good science so that, yes. you know, he has proof that it works. So that's great. I, I think that's fantastic. But again, to me, it's like, why would I want to mimic fasting? Why wouldn't for I just fast, right? It's like, yes, you can fast. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's like, once you get used to it, and, and I know this because I've done it and we've helped a lot of people through it. One, it's not easy. But if you provide a supportive community, yes, it can be done. And the point is that, you know, the fasting is one of these things that is more mental than physical, truthfully. Because if you look physically, like physiologically, if you have type 2 diabetes and obesity, you have too much energy. Like glucose is a form of energy for the body. Body fat is a form of energy for the body. So when you fast, you're going to use it. That's all. So physiologically, it's not a problem. There is lots of problems like hunger. There's lots of problems with boredom. There's lots of problems actually implementing it. But physiologically, it's not generally an issue for most people. So therefore, it's a mind game. And therefore, we can help people because, you know, um, people can do it. So, yeah, I, I, I share your, uh, your opinion. Like, I, I don't mind if people want to do the fasting mimicking diet. But, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather just do it like easily and you know to me it seems that that this this is a solution that can be used anywhere by anybody as opposed to a fasting mimicking diet which is well you have to be you have to be able to get it and you yes. have to be able to afford it so again if you can and it helps you and that's great i don't really have anything against it but it's it's just one of these things that i don't think is as hard as people uh, think it, you know, it is. It's, it's just a matter of doing it and getting people used to it.